Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have an Ulta haul and a mini Target haul. I got my second ever paycheck from YouTube, which amounted to like about $121. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and allowing me to get a little money. It is so fun to go to the store and just be able to kind of pick things up um, I don't do that. Most of the products I get are generally from boxes. Um, <clears throat> I meant to go to Sephora, but I'm filming this before Christmas and there was just no way. The mall parking lot just had no spots. Um, I actually now have an Ulta by me and I'm kind of liking Ulta better. Some of you guys had said that because I think I said I like Sephora better. Um, and they do have different things, but I really like that Ulta has a very good range of like drugstore, high-end, and kind of anywhere in between. I also had a gift card to Target <clears throat> I got from one of my students, and then I had some money left over from a gift from my uncle. So I have a couple things from Target, but the bulk of everything is Ulta. Um, so if you guys are ever curious how much you get paid for YouTube, honestly, for me, it is not, I mean, I am grateful, but it's not like you're going to quit your job. So I have, I think around 1100 subscribers, something like that. And um, I post just about every three days. Um, and so I'm averaging around 20 bucks a month. Um, and it can even break down for the video. I mean, some of my videos, like you're making like a dollar, $22 a video. Um, and clearly, you know, that's um, based on views and how long people watch the commercials, etc. Anywho, very grateful for the money just for fun to go shopping. So my first paycheck, I got about 90 bucks and, um, they only do it when you cross a hundred bucks and then it's not like instantaneous. Like I, I hit technically I hit the money in November, but, um, I missed that pay cycle. So it came in on December. Um, so the first paycheck I did target this time I did Ulta and it was really fun to just walk through Ulta, peruse everything. Um, and then I didn't realize I had $14 in like Ulta money. Um, so I don't know, I've been really liking Ulta and we have a new one by our, my house that I feel like is pretty big. So anyway, let's start with Target. So I had about $30 to spend at Target. I just kind of perused the aisles to see if there was anything. Um, the first thing I picked up, which I can already say is I, I'm disappointed in, uh, the Neutrogena, um, Glow Primer, um, Radiant Primer Plus Serum. It has peptides. I love peptides, but if you look at the bottle like i don't know whether it's coming across but it's very shimmery i was kind of thinking it would be a dupe or not really a dupe but like a comparable to this uh the l'oreal lumi glotion i love this stuff it goes on it's such a beautiful highlight beautiful glow this is nothing like that <clears throat> i don't even really think there was a glow um and given that it looks glittery in the bottle i expected glow also, I have on my holiday nails, which you can see already a couple broke. Um, these are just the Express Press-On. The little tree here is my absolute favorite. Um, they're good to me for like an event. Like if um, I've had them on for about 30 hours and like two I said have already broke anyway. So I feel like if you have an event to go to, they're an easy way, a cheap way to get like uh, good looking nails. But for my nails, they don't last. Sorry, that was a little side note. So this was $16.99. Um, you know, I might use it, but it's just kind of a bummer. Like, and this is Target, so I'm kind of stuck with it. I've already, I've used it before I put on my makeup. It's not terrible, but it is not the gloomy lotion. I suppose I could use them together. I'm not sure if this is doing anything for me. Um, again, like I said, with all of the shimmer, I was really, really, really expecting radiant glow this is half the price absolutely radiant glow kind of gives a tiny bit of coverage i wouldn't say much but honestly if you haven't tried the lumi glotion i highly recommend love it 
The other thing I got from Target for I think $24.99 is by Pixie. I don't, I haven't tried much with Pixie, maybe one other product. And um, this is the Rose Ceramide Cream. I love anything ceramide. Um, I'm kind of always looking for things with ceramides and peptides. Um, this is like a little foil kind of tube. Um, so this is what the outside packaging looks like. I almost feel like it's going to be one of those. Yeah. Um, it has a seal, but we can open it. Um, I thought it was gonna be one of like the foil pop things where you have to pop it. Maybe if I'm going to get it open, but it had a really good ingredient list that I liked. And so, um, one of my ways I was getting a lot of peptides, I was, um, I feel like my, I can't get that open right now. So we're not going to open that. But um, I feel like my skin was getting tired of it. So I wanted to find kind of new ways to get peptides and ceramides. And so this has ceramides in it. Um, let's see what we have. Um, it has triglycerides. What else do we have? Um, somehow it's easier to target. Oh, this has like four or five ceramides, I believe, if I'm reading this right. Um, very excited for that. Different oils. So I am excited to try this. I was hoping I could open it to see. Um, Rose, again, for my skin is really nice. So I really, I'm excited to try that. We will see how it goes. Um, I like the ceramides. And I thought for sure there was like three or four in there. I almost need a magnifier when I film these videos. Um, all right, let's get into my Ulta haul. I am super excited. Um, this bill did not come out. I think I still have like 20 bucks left technically in my paycheck. Um, I went to town. I'm very excited. Um, I need to get better at making a list when I watch people unbox things. Sometimes there's like, oh, I would like to try that. And um, I need to get better at making a list. So let's see. I got a $30 gift card. Not That doesn't count on what I spent. That was for a social committee at work. So let's see if we subtract the thirty dollars. Um, I guess this came out to be like a hundred and twenty. Um, so pretty much exactly what I had. Plus, again, there was supposed to be fourteen dollars off. But I wonder if they took that fourteen dollars off. Oh, okay. No, I'm crazy. So this cost um, $104 total. Anyway, the math is all crazy on what this actually cost because of the $14. I paid some cash, paid the debit card. So yeah, this probably came out to about $120. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm super excited. I got three Good Molecule products. I don't think I've ever tried Good Molecules. This is a really affordable brand and I think they have them at Target too, but Ulta, um, for, I don't know why Ulta seems to have, how do I say, multiple displays. Like there's an ordinary here, an ordinary here. There was at least three different stands of good molecules and they kind of each had like a different grouping. So they had way, way more good molecules than Target. And Good Molecules, I mean, they have some affordable prices. So let's see if I can find this really good. Um, $12. So this is a super peptide serum. Um, like I said, I haven't tried much of Good... I don't think I've tried anything of Good Molecules. Maybe one thing. I don't remember. And maybe not at all. Is this going to come out? We are having issues with coming out. So this is a beautiful frosted glass bottle. So for 12 bucks, the packaging is stellar. I also love how they have their ingredient list, easy peasy with all the percents. Um, water propendol, which I had just learned recently, um, is good at like moisturizing your skin. Glycerin, um, and then two types of peptides and, oh, actually three types of peptides and sodium hyaluronate. Now those are at the, towards the bottom of the thing. 
But I am super excited to try this. I feel like I, I also got another peptide serum. So we may be going crazy with peptide serum. Um, I'm excited about the frosted glass. The packaging is super nice. So it is just a clear, watery um, serum, which I like. I like a lightweight serum to start out with. Um, it's looking like on my hand, it is soaking in really nice. So I am super excited. I mean, $12 with good ingredients. Uh, the frosted glass is shocking. Um, yeah, it's really glass. So I'm shocked how they can do such nice packaging plus good ingredients for 12 bucks. Now, I'm a little interested to see how this goes quality wise, given the great packaging and the low price, but I'm super excited to try it. Another good molecules, I got a hyaluronic acid serum and this is $6. I just don't understand um, how they can do that. You almost feel like they're losing money. Um, yeah, $6. Craziness. Also, glass bottle. I don't know. Like, I sometimes wonder if I'm losing my mind, but it's for sure $6. Um, so once again, another very nice frosted glass. And this has water, propanol, glycerin, sodium hyaluronate. And then the rest, I believe, is just kind of preservatives. So again, sounds like a really good ingredient list. Six bucks. I don't understand. I don't. Don't understand. So super excited to try these. They're also really pretty. Like I feel like this is going to look really pretty like if you had like a stand for stuff. And I love the glass. It feels quality. And then I got a third and my last Good Molecules. I really need an eye cream. And this is a $6 eye cream, which again, really good ingredients. Eye creams last forever. Um, this is a little kind of foil kind of like a, a aluminum kind of foil like um, thing. I think that's going to be kind of like the packaging on this is a bit of a kind of, eh. it's one of those ones where it is the foil where you have to kind of pop it. But I guess we'll do that later. I was kind of going to see how thick this is. I feel like sometimes these foil containers kind of like ooze out. Ooh, yes, yes. Um, So you can kind of see it's thicker. And because of the foil, it does pop out. I will say the packaging on this particular one isn't so hot. Um, but it's kind of like a gel. Very thick, but kind of gel-like. Um, and let's see the ingredients. Again, I kind of love how they just list the ingredients. Very straightforward. That's becoming more common. Um, is it Biloma? What's the name? Something. They do that too. Um... So we have water, propanol, glycerin, um, let's see, allatin, which I love, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, caffeine. I love caffeine in eye cream. So I am super excited. I can't believe this is six bucks. I have been without an eye cream for a couple weeks now. So excited to have this. Um, I love the affordability of some of the newer brands. Fingers crossed, they are good. All right, so my Redken dry shampoo is out everywhere. They must, I don't know, the factory, I have no idea why it's out, but it's basically, you can't buy it right now. And I've tried this before, I did not care for it, but it has a claiming a new improved formula and long lasting, clean and fresh without the buildup. I do feel like dry shampoo often kind of can make your hair feel ick. This is the Fresh Centrus. So this is not your mother's. This is, I believe, $8.99. Um, so again, I just kind of impulse buy at the end. Um, I couldn't really see any other dry shampoos that made me want to try them. So I thought I'd give this a whirl since they says they have a new new formula and I liked the whole long lasting uh, and then no buildup. So we will see if this passed the test for $8.99. I thought that was a really decent price. Um, Batiste has gotten really expensive. I really do think Batiste is like the best drugstore dry shampoo, but they're getting a little too big for their britches. It's like 12 bucks. 
Their can looks bigger than everybody else's, but it's really less product. It's like probably six ounces for 12 bucks, where this is seven ounces for $8.99. But again, they do have a superior product than most other drugstores. All right, another impulse. This was on sale for $5.99. And I love the gel. And I think it's Sally Hansen that I have. The Sally Hansen gel, and you don't need a special light or anything. But they had this where it's like a two-in-one. I love purple. And then it comes with a top coat. I don't know personally whether this is going to be a silver top coat or a, a clear top coat. Um, my Ulta, which I don't know often. I have repainted this like three times today. And it just came off. I don't know. I don't know whether that means the nail polish is old, but it should be dry by now. So, I don't know. I'm about ready to give up on the holiday red here. I literally have painted it three times today. Um, and it looks like we're going to go for a third or a fourth. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to get that open. So, I don't, um, I'm not sure whether that's silver, whether it's clear. I don't know. It was kind of gimmicky. I almost feel like you get less for well, kind of like less for more. Anyway, I'm going to stuck there. But anyway, I thought it was kind of nifty, I guess, if you were traveling or wanted to throw it in your purse. Although I don't know if you're really going to ever be doing that. But um, again, kind of impulse, kind of fun little purchase. We will see how that goes. Um, I have been wanting to try this Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Sephora has some kind of like Christmas, like two, like stocking stuffer kind of a thing, but they're sold out or something. Um, and so this is the Benefit Brow 24 Hour Setter. Um, they had the full size for 26 and the mini for 15. And the mini is exactly half the size of the full size. So technically you're paying $2 more. I will say the packaging on the outside is very cute but it is very lightweight, very cheap feeling, very plastic. So again, glass bottle, $12 product. This one, even for the full size, is kind of very cute, but feels very cheap. So I've never tried this. I don't know how it'll be. Um, I kind of like the unique applicator. The one I have for my brows is just kind of like a mascara wand. So this has little combs. So I'm interested to try it. I'm kind of grateful that they had the mini and the mini wasn't really that much more expensive because if you don't like it, you're not stuck with the full size. So again, cute packaging, but it does feel kind of very lightweight and cheap. But I'm excited to try it. That's $15. All right. This, I will tell you, was cheaper on um, Amazon. But I had just seen somebody review this and I loved the applicator. This is the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Eye um, Brightening Eye Serum. This has hyaluronic acid and caffeine. Um, I love the applicator. So this is 23 bucks on Amazon. It was 32 bucks at Ulta. I will say there have been times where I am a leery of Amazon. Um, I recently purchased my Maybelline mascara. I feel like it was older. Like it doesn't seem as good. So that's kind of, I mean, I wanted instant gratification if we're going to be honest, but I also sometimes don't, I don't know. Like I don't trust the products fully that are on Amazon. I think mostly we're fine. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a glass bottle and it has this super unique applicator. I have never seen anything like it. They are little, three little metal balls and it's very bendy. So you can fit it right under your eyes. I'm super excited. I think that's super cool. Uh, again, if you wanted to get it, it is cheaper on Amazon. Um, but I really just wanted instant gratification if we're gonna be honest. And I love the glass bottle. Very excited to try that. Um, so that was $32. Let's see, glycerin, niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate, caffeine. Super excited. I love sodium hyaluronate and I love uh, niacinamide and caffeine is really nice for your eyes. So super, super excited to try that. 
And we are down to the last two things. Again, I can't tell you how grateful I am that you guys have allowed me to have like two little mini shopping sprees a year. Very excited, very grateful. All right, all right, it cut me off. I really need, I think for Christmas, I need to get some new camera cards. Anyway, so I have seen this product um, with another YouTuber. They rave and rave and rave about this. This is an ordinary product that's $30. I think that might be the most expensive ordinary product out there. I'm not sure. Um, but this is the multi-peptide plus copper peptides. And so this lady swears that, I don't know, it's almost like the fountain of youth sort of a thing. So I thought, why not? The outside is already kind of yellow, which is interesting. I do believe this will have kind of an orangey yellow um, thing. Ordinary has glass bottle packaging too. Um, so this has a water, glycerin, um, a couple different three, it looks like three, four different peptides, lots of peptides. Um, let's see what else, if I can see alanine, serine, all kinds of like interesting things that you don't see very often, but several peptides. I love peptides. So I don't know. I thought, why not again? Oh, it's blue. Look at that. That is fun. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of excited to try it. I wonder if the blue, I wonder which product in there makes it blue. Anyway, super excited to try it. I love peptides. And like I said, I was getting, I feel like my skin was getting used to the other peptide serum or they had changed. And so I wasn't liking it. So I'm excited to try new peptides and see if my skin will react. So super excited. I will say the Ordinary has really good prices. I have tried a few things and just kind of been eh for me. Um, but they're usually the cheaper ones that I kind of didn't like. So again, she raved about it. So I thought I would give it a try. I think the blue color is fun. All right. My last thing I got was a hair mask. This is Eva NYC, and I've heard that this is the sister company with um, Amika. So kind of like, I think Amika owns it, and it's kind of the cheaper sister version. And I love their dry shampoo. It's a yellow bottle, and so their dry shampoo is kind of becoming my, my new favorite. And so I thought I would try this out. This is Main Magic 10-in-1 Shine Argon Oil. Neem Oil? Never heard of that. Um, but I'm kind of always love trying different hair care masks. Um, very, very thick. And I always just kind of use it as my conditioner. I don't necessarily go out of my way to use an extra mask. Um, I like the purple packaging. That's kind of their thing. They have this pastel. They had another mask that was more expensive and this huge, crazy container. But I decided to go with this one, I believe, which was around, let's see. Um, this was $14 and the other one was like 17, but I'm super excited to try it and it's pretty packaging. So that is my Alta haul. Again, I can't keep saying how grateful I am that you guys let me do this. It's so fun to try new things and I can't wait to tell you what I think in my empties. Um, I hope you had a great holidays because you'll be seeing this after Christmas and after New Year's probably. So I hope you had a great holidays. Um, and I hope we all have a wonderful 2024. Uh, I'll talk to you later and I'll see you soon.